What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be discussing how to move, copy, overwrite directories using Shuttle and a not so well-known module framework, Dist Utils. All right, so let's just get started. We're going to be running these three, we're going to be importing these three, and this is our source and destination. Folder A is our source and destination is folder B. So let's just check those out. Folder A has something called new folder and folder B has new folder, but we will delete this. So now folder B has nothing. And our goal is to move a new folder from folder A to folder B. Let's just run this. And this is just uh, verifying the contents we just saw a couple of seconds ago. Source has new folder and destination doesn't have any folders or directories. So now we're going to copy the source into destination. So we use always.path.join source and new folder to create the full path because source was just the root directory. Source just represents folder A, but we want to move new folder. So we would just create the complete path. As you can see, C Mundra, blah, 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 new folder. And we want to move this into destination, which is once again, uh, folder B. Now here's where you run into the first problem. If I run that and it gets file exists error. I cannot create a file when that file already exists. And as you can see, it gives you the file that already exists. So the problem here is that if you use shuttle.copy tree, the destination can't exist already. So even though we want to move it into folder B, if folder B already exists, that's a problem. So one way to get around this is to use the full path. So in this case, our destination is going to be dest and we're going to add on this new folder. This new folder is basically the name we're going to give the folder that gets moved from or copied from folder A into folder B. So essentially, we're just giving it a complete full path. And this path doesn't exist. It will be created once a shuttle.copy tree is invoked. So this was also explained in the previous video with moving files. By giving a full path, you overcome certain limitations of shuttle. So if I run this now, as you can see, there are no problems. And if we use os.lister into destination, we should see new folder. And as you can see, we have new folder. And just in case you guys want to see it, folder B has new folder with the empty text file. So now we're going to talk about overwriting. So this is another limitation with shuttle.copyTree. So we have our folder, once again, os.path join source and new folder. And our destination is this destination. And as you saw just earlier, if we wanted to overwrite this file with the folder, because say folder has updated contents or something, or some, some new material where we cannot use shuttle.copy tree. So if I run this once again, we get the file exists error. And one way around this is, of course, if you want to change the name, you could change the name to something else, so a directory that doesn't exist, and it will successfully copy that. But if you want to keep the name, there's actually a way around this, and that's using this dist utils dir dir util. Now, dist utils has something called a copy tree. And what it's going to do is if the destination doesn't exist, it will be created. And if it does exist, it will be overwritten. So this is something you have to be careful of. If, it, if you don't want to overwrite the destination, you should use something like shuttle copy tree, which is a lot safer. But if you want to overwrite the contents, you can use a shuttle dist utils copy tree. So what copy tree, the way this function works, it'll take the contents of your source. So in this case, contents of folder, take the contents of folder and I'll put it into the destination. So let's just go back to here and let's see, let's just uh, create something called testing2. So testing2.txt and let's just add some sort of content to these text files. Uh, text1, uh, text2. As you can see now, folder A has a couple of text files and we've updated the content and folder B as a new folder and it has an empty text file. So essentially what we want to do is we want to override new folder with the contents of folder A. So this is how we do that. So os.path join will take the source and folder, which is the essentially the full path. And what we're going to be doing is so when we use the folder as the source, it's actually going to look at the contents within the source folder. Destination, we need to actually put the full destination of where we want our contents to be. So we put the full destination to equal to uh, temp dest, and we use that. So now we have our source and our destination member. Our dist utils copy tree will take all the contents from source so all the contents, which is text one and text two, and it will put everything into and uh, overwrite the contents of the destination. So our destination is new folder. So essentially we're taking the contents of folder, um, which is the new folder and the two text files, and we're going to be moving it into overriding any files if there already exist within the destination temp test, which is the new folder. So once again, if that's a little confusing, let me just show you. 
we're going to be taking all the contents within folder. So this is our source. We take all the contents, which is this, and it's going to override this, the contents of new folder. So essentially we are copying the folder, but it's actually the contents of the folder that's going to be overwritten. So that might be a little confusing, but you guys will see. So if we run this now, temp destination new folder should be overwritten with the contents of folder. So I run this, not a directory. For some reason, new folder. So let's just try running this again. All right, so we're successfully able to move testing text and testing text two. So let's just go back to scene. And if you look at folder B, you'll see new folder, testing and testing two. And if we look at the contents, you'll see that they've also been over in and text two. So now we're going to move on to how to move folders. Now, if you want to move a folder into a destination that doesn't contain the same name as the folder you're trying to move, you'll have no problem. So in this case, I, I've created a new folder called folder two. So let me just show you that. Folder A contains uh, a new folder called new folder two, which is just empty. And folder B doesn't contain that folder. What I'm going to do now is just move that folder. Shuttle.move allows you to move a folder into a destination as long as that folder doesn't exist within the destination. If I run this, as you can see, I successfully were, was able to move the folder into uh, folder B. So folder B now has new folder two. And if we look at os.listar of, I think, source, you'll see that there is no new folder two existing within the source. So a problem will occur if we try to move a folder into a destination where that folder name already exists. So here we have a new folder, source new folder, and we're trying to move it into destination. And we know a destination contains new folder. So if I try to run this, you get an error. Destination path, uh, new folder already exists. So this is a problem with trying to move folders into a destination where that folder name already exists. You can do something like this, where there's you have your folder and now your destination will be new folder. So what happens here is that if you try to move your folder into destination new folder, unlike this utils copy tree where the contents get copied over, here you're actually moving the folder. So the folder itself, not just the contents, but the folder itself gets moved. So here, if I try to run this, what will happen is this is the source, new folder. So the destination is going to be tempdest, which is the root destination with new folder. The contents only would get copied over. So the contents of new folder would override the contents of new folder. But here with shuttle.move, you'll actually be taking the new folder itself and moving it into so remember, not, not just the contents, but the folder itself will be moved into new folder. So you essentially have new folder slash new folder. So if I run this, as you can see, uh, folder B, new folder, new folder. Now, if you want to actually move a folder from folder A to folder B and overwrite the contents if it exists, I could not find an easy way to do this. And it seems you have to use a shuttle.remove tree. So what shuttle.remove tree does is that it will delete the destination, the temporary destination, and then you will be able to move the folder into the temp temporary destination because the temporary destination doesn't exist. So currently folder B has new folder and a new folder within it because we essentially moved all the contents of new folder and the new folder was copied into the new folder from folder A. So I'm just going to cut this and what we'll do is we'll put this back into folder A, pretty much back to normal. And now what I'm going to show you is how to move folder A into folder B. So I'll open this and we'll say something like folder A. What I'm going to show you is how to overwrite the contents from folder A into folder B by using a remove tree. So this is sort of a slight hack. So we have folder A, which contains text files. And this first text file contains some text saying folder A. And folder B contains text file, but the first text file does not contain the text folder A. And now what we're going to do is, first we're going to remove the, the new folder from temp destination, and then we'll move the folder into temp destination. So this is sort of a hack. What you're doing is you're deleting the contents before you move. So this is one way to overwrite the contents. You delete the contents and then you move the contents. So you just have to be careful and make sure that the file does exist or the directory does exist before deleting it. And you can use one of the checks, os.path that is there to make a check. So just to make things short, I'll just run this now. Let's check it out. So if we look into folder B, you'll see that it contains new folder 
And if we open up testing, you'll see that it has the information from folder A, the text folder A. Now, if we look into folder A, you'll see that the new folder is gone. So that's essentially a hack to move a folder into the destination if the folder already exists. That's it for this video. If you have comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time.